Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to be helping you out and we're going to help you set up your PS3. So there's going to be a lot of PS3's uh, being unwrapped and unboxed over the holiday season and so we're just going to help you out with setting it up. So uh, the cables that you're going to need are either an HDMI cable which will give you full 1080p HD gaming or you're going to need uh, composite cables which are just these three cables they come with the PS3 so you know you're not gonna have to go and buy extra cables and but the only thing is they're only standard definition so you're not gonna get the uh, crystal clear HD that you would with either HDMI or component which I'm gonna show you right here uh, these you have to buy separately same with the HDMI cables they're just pretty much the same as HDMI but they're five separate cords instead of just one uh, and you have to buy the PS3 specific ones so make sure you get those uh, so now just go ahead and take either your HDMI cable component or composite cables and plug it into the appropriate port on the back of your PS3 so for HDMI plug it into the HDMI port or for component and composite plug it into the uh, port on the left side and then just go ahead and take your power cable and plug it into the power uh, slot and make sure that little switch is on the one part so it's turned on and then take the other end of your HDMI cable and plug it into the back of your TV. Or if you have uh, the component or composite cables, make sure the colors match up with what, you're, what color you're plugging it into. Uh, and you know, same with the power cable. I hope you know where to plug in the other end of the power cable. So I hope I don't have to explain that. But when you plug in your HDMI or component or composite cables, Make sure you remember what label they are on the back of your TV. So as you can see, HDMI 1 slash DVI. And just go ahead and take your PS3 controller, plug it into the micro USB cable, and plug the other end of the micro USB cable into your PS3. And then this is how you kind of link or sync or pair, however you want to call it, your controller to your PS3. Then go ahead and press that little circle button right in the center of your controller. The light should start blinking and it should turn on your PS3. Or if your PS3 is already on, it should go ahead and connect and show the little dot right here for whatever player you are. Uh, you can have up to eight players, I believe. Eight or seven, I don't know. But it will light up multiple lights if it has to, if it goes beyond four. So that's pretty much all you have to do for that part. Now taking your TV's controller, go ahead and find either the source or the TV video or TV input button something like that and go ahead and choose whatever label you plugged it into on the back of your TV so remember HDMI 1 slash DVI and because my PS3 is on my Samsung TV goes and recognizes that it is available and so I just need to go and connect to it and there you go uh, that's pretty much all you have to do guys so uh, I really hope this helped if it did make sure to comment like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time